okay that was just this is just proof that it works guys welcome to the channel like and subscribe if you haven't already done so most likely you're a subscriber if you're watching this content if not and you found me uh, feel free to like and subscribe as I have many 3d animation 3d uh, garment creation 3d software um, <clears throat> videos on my channel and this one is about Mixamo and Clo 3d some things have changed but as you can see there is a way to get your Clo 3d models animated using Mixamo animations this is just me recording in a little bit of a fast time so that you guys can see that yes it does work you can get some dynamic movement from Mixamo animations using Clo 3d avatars so we're going to go ahead and figure out what's changed because some things have changed that's why the old way is not working this is the new 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 way and let's just give her a second to go ahead and show us her moves again in real time sped up of course for you guys okay <laughs> enough let us start from the beginning and figure out how we can get this uh working in clo 3d keep in mind this may change again because once they figure out what the issues were they may go ahead and fix it so that the old way works from the beginning i'm opening up clo 3d and i'm bringing in my avatar so i'm going to go ahead and go to my avatar folder and i am going to import just your regular avatar uh female avatar version 2 and i'm just going to pick fifi my favorite now we have our avatar ready to go and let's see what it takes okay first things first we're going to export this avatar the only thing in our scene as a fbx i suggest you do this separately from your uh from your garment creation so i'm just naming her mixmo fifi and then we're going to save her as a standalone fbx file in her a pose no other poses, just her regular default pose. These are the export settings. I'm going to export excluding the rig. I'm going to let Mixamo give her a rig. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, 2012 binary and I'm going to embed her media. So that means all of her textures will be embedded in the file, in the FBX file. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and go to our Mixamo. Um, website and we're going to see what happens with this fbx file in the old ways in the olden days it was simple but now you've got something like this where your animation is either in a clay format or it's uh totally black that's what some people are experiencing so i'm going to go ahead and pull in my mixamo fifi file let me just find out where i put it there she is desktop <clears throat> Now, remember, we embedded her um, her textures and we saved it out as 2012 binary, which seems to be a more stable version of FBX. So we're going to go with that and we're just going to give her a second to upload. The reason we're doing it without uh, the rigs is because Mixamo has changed something about their rig and so has Clo 3D. No one's fessing up to what exactly changed, but if you go back to uh, FBX in binary, excluding the rig, you can get the rig from Mixamo and just bring it back into Clo as a separate avatar, which we will do right now. So if you know anything about Mixamo, you know you have to set up these joints. Just be careful, your left is your right, your right is your left. Sometimes I get confused and I put the wrong thing on the wrong side. I don't know, something about my dyslexia makes me drag it to the opposite side without read, reading the words so just make sure that you don't follow me on this and the groin is actually i would say right where you think her pelvic bone bends that's a good place for the groin that always kind of messes up some of the animations but just follow that um this is me going ahead and uh giving you more than you need so we're going to go ahead and um, let this rig upload. 
you'll see some things blacked out because I was, uh, you know, going off on a tangent, answering phone calls and letting the rig simulate while I set up the video, blah, blah, blah. So um, you'll see some of that blocked out, but that's all I blocked out. So I'm just keeping this like it is for you guys to see just the full upload of the FBX that we exported from Cloud. Bam, all of her textures are there. She's not black. Okay. Basically, you imported the FBX without the rig. So the textures came with it. Not an OBJ. It's a little bit different. So we did do an FBX. Uh, we're going to keep this FBX file at 6.1 for the export. So now you're going to go ahead and export this rigged model in the 6.1 FBX. And you're going to save that. Then you can go ahead and roll through your animations, pick out what you want, make sure you are adjusting your arm space and your frame rate, and you're adjusting everything that you can uh, for your Mixamo animations. This is what I mean about the crotch point. Some things just don't work. So pick, you know, this has to do where, where that groin point is. Maybe it was too low. You see how high up the uh, hip bone is? So that groin is actually too low where I placed it. So you can go ahead and fix that up on your next thing. Like just place it a little bit higher where you think the body bend is. Um, this is one thing that I learned and I'm not going to do any <laughs> animations that are like with high kicks or widespread legs. So there you go. But we can achieve the dancing animations, the walking animations, the, you know, animations that do not require her legs to spread open in a weird way. But go ahead and pick some, you know, this one is kind of a little, eh, maybe, maybe if it was a male avatar, but you just got to move that groin point up. You know, I digress. We're going to export some at this point. So let's go ahead and pick out one that we export. And um, and this is it. This is the fix, guys. So you got your import XBX without rig, excluding rig. Embed the textures at FBX 2012 binary. Export your avatar once you give it a skeleton in Mixamo at the binary. I'm sorry, at the six wants the FBX 6.1 uh, format with skin attached. So now we've got uh, a wide range of, range of animations and we're going to pick one in just a second. All right, I'm going to go with the Samba dancing. So let's go ahead and download the Samba. Some uh, mixing new. Just want to make sure that we are set to 6.1 with skin, and that's it. So we're going to go ahead back into Clo 3D and we're going to pull in our downloaded avatar in a pose that we did first, and then we're going to attach our animation. Now, here's the key this avatar will be a separate avatar with the animation attached. So you can go ahead and save the animation that goes with this avatar, but you will not be able to apply the animation to the Clo 3D avatar. Why? Because the skeletons are not the same. The skeletons are the issue. Basically, the skeletons and the textures are treated differently. There have been updates over the past couple of months, years, depending on when you've watched this. So now we're going to go ahead and import our Mixamo uh, export. Let's delete this and we're going to go ahead and add, uh, actually add our avatar. No, we're going to import. Sorry, I digress. We're going to import our FBX avatar that we downloaded and we're going to just, it's the Mixamo uh, point one. She's actually named the same. So um, just be careful of that, that you don't get confused which one is which. The animations won't apply to the other one that you exported without the rig. So now here we go. <clears throat> and we're going to save this as an avatar. So now she will save as an avatar, but we want to want to let you know that this is the Mixamo uh, bone skeleton that she has. 
it's not going to convert to the closed skeleton. It's going to convert, can keep its uh, mixamo skeleton, but you just are able to change it as an avatar. So this is quite a bit of a workaround because you may end up having avatars that have animations applied to them. Um, or you may just have an avatar that's just for animation. So um, you pick your choice and organize things the way that you want to organize them. So now here is the Mixamo file. We're going to go ahead and we're going to record this. We're going to play it in real time. And we're going to do something next. So now it's all working. She's looking pretty good. She's not looking too crazy. Her bones are pretty much in the right place. She's got that avatar clothe 3d look but i digress i won't say anything about it she looks kind of rubbery but anyway okay so once we've got that down we're going to go ahead and save this as a joint motion so you will have the avatar that goes with the joint motion but this joint motion will not go with your regular clothe 3d avatars just keep that in mind and I will go back and verify, but I think I do verify that in this exercise. But this is pretty much it. And you're done. So you have your avatar from Mixamo and you have your animation from Mixamo all saved out as avatar file and motion joint file. We could pretty much stop there. So let me just see what else there is for me to tell you. I'm just going to put a dress on. Oh, here it is. I'm trying it, right? So I open the Mixamo. And I'm going to, yeah, so I open the mix them all and there you can see all of her bone joints are listed at the bottom and she's able to move. So the avatar goes with the animation, like I said previously. And then let's just put some, throw some default clothes on here. I make so many folders sometimes, guys. I hope you don't follow. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Don't do what I do. Let me get a dress from somewhere. All right. I'm going to put on a dress. I just want to throw the dress on and it keeps asking me if I want to save it. So I'm just going to go ahead and save everything. Uh, I'm just going to save the avatar and add the dress. But I didn't give it the A pose. So now I need to go back into my simulated view and get some arrangement points and keep it moving. So guys, this just is in addition to your regular workflow. Whatever you're working on, you can add your animation in the A pose. Um, I'm sorry, your avatar in the APOS and apply the animation to the specific avatar that you exported from Mixamo. That is the key point. And at this point, this is all bonus. So I'm going to let this go a little bit fast and uh, talk you through this. Okay, now she's dressed and we're going to go ahead and uh, import the animation that goes with this avatar. I think I said that a few times. And uh, <clears throat> there we are. So again, I'll scroll down. You'll see that she has all of those uh, motion files that are attached to each of her bones. Have a range, range of mo motion that are grouped together. Because she is an avatar, there's an, a transition full uh, transition point added to the animation uh, because both a motion file has been created and an avatar has been created natively in Clo to use with the software so it's coded to give you a transition um, a transition with those files so here she is transitioning into her animation and we're going to speed this up just a little bit because you guys know by now what is happening
Okay, just keeping it real, guys. I uh, stopped this animation a couple times because I did not like what the dress was doing and I had to fix and pull and reanimate. Now, you know you can stop and start the animation and fix it like her hands are getting caught in. I mean, this was not the right because of close collision issues, this was not the right garment to put on her because it's just too, uh, there's too much hand movements. But anyway, she worked out just fine with a little bit of fixing. That's why you see those little stops in the timeline. But that's it, guys. So um, there you have your animation. And you can go ahead and go into your render and render it out <clears throat> frame by frame is my suggestion. Uh, mp4 also if you're using a pc that's pretty good get her in the right position and the right lighting and you guys are good to go so this is the mixamo fixamo uh animated tutorial yes it was a little bit fast but i think you guys got it from the beginning let me know if you have any questions in the chat in the comment section um and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Or maybe you'll find someone else uh, that can help you, that can answer a question if you post it. So, ta-ta. <laughs>